I don't know. I think Shane should take me on a date. We gotta go. I'm gonna shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna shit Nima Marcus. I could cry. This is turning into the best day ever for me. <laughs> Apple Vision Pro, gift for my kids, gifts yeah, wait, for should me. I, should I return this? <laughs> it tastes like I'm gonna get a lot of farts. <laughs> when are you moving back to Colorado? Can I open it yet? Yes. Can you see? It's happening. Something's happening. Yeah, it's the end of the world, baby. This is scary. This is scary. Hello, girls. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. Okay, Shane, you need to, what? You always start vlogging when I'm at my work. <laughs> Well, that's because it's when I'm at my best, bright and early in the morning. Well, actually it's not early anymore, but for this one it is because he's been staying up late editing a conspiracy video. But Shane, I have told him this vlog cannot be, listen, I love being a new mom. Nobody's complaining about the mom content, but I just thought, why don't Shane and I give you something that's uninterrupted? What are you looking at? I just don't know what's happening. Look at me. Why do you do this? Why do you want me at my worst? You're keeping me down. Okay, we can film this later, but I want you to think of what we can do in this vlog that is uninterrupted, that's fun for us. Can we go try Nothing. some? Our life isn't like that. <laughs> what do you want? This no. is our life. I just don't want where it's like you're every not, two seconds not, we're looking at the baby monitor and running back in. Anymore, and, baby. And then, you're not on grinder anymore, sweetie. We're here, we have babies. They need need hair, we have things to do. Listen, after a couple like more rough weeks of just like gas and, bah, and and fussiness from growing, the last few days have been so fun. They've discovered their tongue, they're smiling like crazy, and they've been having a lot more awake, happy moments, which is so fun. I mean, do you guys care? You, th this is our life. They like the baby content. I'm just saying like, I'd like to do something that you and I can complete. Like maybe we go out, on a date, or maybe we, you know, like do something that we can cohesively have with you guys. Okay, I have therapy right now. <laughs> I'll talk about this in therapy. You can figure out what you're doing. I need to figure this out and come to me when I'm at my best. Okay, well that's gonna be when I'm at my worst, probably tonight when I'm ready to go to and bed. That's and on he's marriage. wide awake. I was thinking maybe I should ask Instagram like what questions you have for us being new dads or just anything in general. So maybe we'll do some of that and f I don't know. I think Shane should take me on a date if I'm being honest. Have fun in therapy. See, wasn't that spontaneous? So fun. It's like we're 20 again. <laughs> we're just two crazy single guys with no kids and no responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> just so many animals, so many kids with every responsibility in the world. But you know what? It's all worth it. And I almost cried last night. I saw a video of somebody getting a puppy on YouTube. And then I just started thinking back to when all of our other dogs were puppies. And I literally almost cried just thinking about how much I love our dogs and how I just need to love them even more. Uno. Okay, I have an idea. I'll stay here with the boys and you go take the dogs and you guys do something fun. Have a good fun. Day. Last time I did something fun with the dogs, they came home with ticks and you got so mad at me. I love you. I love you. Don't talk about me too much in therapy. It's okay, I will. What? I'm just kidding. I'm the perfect husband. There's nothing he could possibly say about me. Love you. Dad life. I've been waiting forever and look who just arrived. Shane. Now he's hiding from me. I have great news. I called the Apple store at the Topanga Mall. He was like, well, what memory are you looking for? Did you know they had different memories? I don't care. He has all three at the store, <gasps> but he can't hold one. You just have to go pick it up. But he said it's not that busy there right now. So. Okay, let me just say this. I'm working on a conspiracy video right now. That's all against this, but I'm such a hypocrite. I can't wait. <laughs> I need to try it. Here's the thing. Okay, it's well, such a we're talking about the Apple Vision Pro, if you didn't know. You didn't say what that was? I don't know. I, was, I got so excited that they had it. I don't know if I brought them along the journey because I was just thinking, Shane, I've been organizing questions. First of all, most of the questions are about genetics of the boys. When we're going back to Colorado, and there was one more other really popular question. Okay, so here's the thing. I know. Oh, it's how we maintain the two of us. Here's the thing. <laughs> not good. Here's the thing. I know it's overpriced. It's stupid. We're not going to use it that much. It's probably not worth it. But listen. 
we could write it off. You know, because no, it's no, a video no, no, prompt, no, no, no. you it, should buy it. Listen, <laughs> what I'm most excited about is the editing aspect. If you go up to your computer, it makes your screen a movie theater. And if I could edit on that, have my text messages, my music on one side, my Final Cut Pro. The problem is when I've been watching reviews, you look down and you can't see your real keyboard. And I use all the keyboard shortcuts when I'm editing. So I don't know how that would work. I love the big screen thing too, because I just always want my screen to be bigger when I'm editing. But is it stupid? Can we resell it? Like I mean, if we, we could probably it? return it if we hate it. Perfect, let's go get it. The other thing is Shane was very excited about the movie theater element of it all. And I was like, so you're gonna be watching TV alone and it's gonna be heavy on your head. Like I just don't find that super practical, like that element. Really? I find it perfect because it has headphones so then I don't have to hear you chewing. <laughs> so like, this is a win-win. So here's the other thing. I already pre-ordered it online, so I need to cancel my order. And here's the thing, Apple, I have a bone to pick with you. I pre-ordered it the day that it was available on pre-order and mine isn't coming till March, but they have it at the store. What is the point of the pre-order? What's the point? It was the same story with the brand new iPhone. Everyone was going and picking up their iPhones and Shane was like, I ordered the very first day that the iPhone was announced and he had to wait a month and a half to get the iPhone. I'm like, make it make sense, Apple. You're like the biggest technology company in the world and you can't figure that out? Well, this vlog took a turn. Should we answer one question before we leave the house? Okay, so these were the questions and I just took a few screenshots. This is a lot of them. For example, which baby has which seat? Do you think you can tell whose baby is who or do they resemble the surrogate more? So. Maybe we haven't explained enough. The surrogate actually has no genetic ties to Are either we of the do kids. This with this, this angle? angle? I kind of liked it. The surrogate has no genetic tie to either of the boys. It's actually a donor. The embryos were created with us. And then as full embryos, they were placed inside of the surrogate. I don't know about this when we're discussing genetics of our kids. <laughs> well, this is our first <clears throat> baby. We don't know for sure whose is whose, but like the two of us know for sure. But that's, I don't think something we'll ever like put out there on the internet because it doesn't it's matter. We're never gonna test them. Although somebody did bring up, they were like, maybe you should get them tested to see whose genetics is whose because of your own genetic things, you know what I mean? Like I have heart issues in my family. Like there's certain things that maybe we should look into it, but we're never gonna say it. We're not trying to make it like a, oh, that's me, that's you. Like that's crazy. I so mean, no. deep down we know, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know Just what like I mean? Just like deep down I know this is my genetics, <laughs> but like we share him. Even though he doesn't really like him that much, we still keep him in the bedroom. Thank you. Um, I gotta do my hair, but they also said, do both babies have blue eyes? As of right now, the answer is yes. But the crazy thing is that babies eyes can change for like the first two or three years. So like while right now they have blue eyes, they might not always. I'm practicing my swaddle. I asked you to life-size swaddle the other day. That's fun. And is it easy to tell the boys apart just in general outside of their genetics? Do you find it easy, Shane? Uh, Come on. Uh. <laughs> Good job. Do you find it easy? They literally look completely different. It is very easy, unless they're both swaddled in beanies with a binky. Then sometimes I'm like doing a double. We gotta go. Okay, let's go. We'll keep doing more questions in the car. And I wanna try something, like some fast food specialty item. If I have Shane out of the house, baby, we gotta do something fun. I don't think he's been out of the house. What's the last thing we did out of the house with him? I don't know, this is a big day for him. So I recently got a haircut. When the hairstylist styled my hair, it looked really great for that day only, but she used a texture spray and a specific styling paste. So I ordered them both, but it says they were arrived and I could never find them. And the other day when I was leaving the house, I noticed there were a bunch of packages thrown into our bushes. I might have to dig into the bushes and pray that one of these is them. If there is like a rattlesnake in here, or a black widow. Oh, no. It smells delicious in there. Is that rosemary? I'm positive my texture spray is in that bush. It looks like everything that was thrown in there was open. What a tragedy. Okay, regular hair gel, it is. Uh, OTD? Yeah, I was just gonna show off what you got going on. My Valentine's Day merch. I don't know when you're posting this video, but this is my Valentine's Day merch. I'm really proud of it. I designed it myself. My little two-tone jacket. My little Stanley, which I know it contains lead. <laughs> and it's very problematic right now. And I'm also doing a conspiracy about this. 
God, I really am a hypocrite. And my sunglasses. And my binky. <laughs> oh my God, wait a minute. Binky holder. <laughs> oh wait, there's lead in this. Oh, never mind, never mind. Sanitize. All right, baby, let's go. Okay. So we left off on looks, but somebody then asked- What? Everyone was asking about the looks. I always leave like, off on looks. Somebody said, <laughs> can you tell the differences in Jet and Max's personalities? Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. They're both so different, but they are also similar in a lot of ways. Like they are so connected. Like if one of them is upset, the other one will get upset or if one of them calms down the other like they're really connected i don't know if that's just a twin thing or it's like dolphins where they're just like telepathy but they're really like sweet to each other and i don't know i just love them so much did that answer the question yeah kind of do you both ever feel like you miss your lives before the kids no i don't want to say that like having kids gives life purpose i mean it does but if you don't have kids like you still have a purpose it is just a little different as far as like my priorities because i'm a workaholic having kids it's only been a few months a couple months but having kids really has put that in perspective and i'm able to put my phone down and like not respond to emails and not get too crazy about things when i'm with the kids it doesn't take away my ambitions they've made our lives very full i I feel like I have a greater purpose. I have something bigger to work for to feed them, but they also just fill my life with so much happiness. They do. Listen, I'm teetering a weird line right now because, and I try not to censor myself. Well, I, I try <laughs> a lot more than I used to. I want to be wary of like, a lot of people don't have kids and they get really hurt when people are like, why don't you have kids? So I never want to make it seem like having kids, you have to, you know what I mean? Well, no, it's also the biggest undertaking ever. You know what I will say? Shout out to the ones who don't want kids and aren't having kids because that is very selfless because you could very easily have kids and then not take care of them or be annoyed by them or I think that's a good thing too. That's just a side note. And then one person said funniest thing that you guys have said to each other and I think in the heat of a moment so there was one night during the witching hour where they were both just losing their minds for no reason like they had been fed, they had been changed, like everything was done and I looked to Shane in the heat of the moment and I go what have we done? But it's not that I don't want kids or that I don't want them like I am so confident and secure in our decision to have kids but I think and sometimes in the moments when it's crazy, you're like, oh my gosh. And then later on in the night, Shane goes, do you remember what you said to me an hour ago? That was a little crazy, but I will say we've heard from a lot of mommies and nurses and people in our lives that kids will push you to the point of wanting to die because they will push, 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 push. And that's just what being a good parent is. <laughs> it's walking out of the room after you leave them in a safe place, taking a deep breath and going back in. Should we take another question while we're at the stoplight? No. This is a boring angle. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll see you at the mall. <laughs> you ready for our next question? Okay, so here's my thought. You go into the Apple store, I'll go into Neiman Marcus, we'll meet up afterward. You are gonna try to not go, oh my gosh, there's a hummingbird on the bird of paradise. Hummingbirds are such good luck to just see in the middle really? of nowhere, yes! Apple stores are my ick. I love <laughs> Apple, but that store gives me a panic attack in the same way that Ikea does. It's so overwhelming because there's so many people in there at all times, but you're gonna try to make me go in alone? Are you kidding me? Well, it'll be fun. You could vlog your it'll journey. It'll be fun. I'll yeah, vlog vlogging at the Apple store by myself. I'll vlog my journey and Neiman Marcus. Are you gonna get me a gift? I thought you said no more gifts. You're right, you're right, you're right. That's the woman I think I am. Shane is really making me go alone right now, so. surprise i am gonna get him a gift because it's valentine's day he ruined the surprise first i go to the bathroom i'm gonna give a gift to the toilet the kid section oh my god okay so i found two really cute outfits for the boys so i'm gonna surprise him with that and then he's gonna be happy but he's gonna be internally like wait a minute where's my present and i'm gonna be like well i guess i did get you a little something and I got him this really cute wallet by Saint Laurent, which is like his favorite designer. And the woman that helped me was so nice. I was like, we have to do it really fast because he's gonna be here any second. And she was like, come with me. She took me to like a secret room and did it. It was just so fun. So yeah, I'm excited. I love Valentine's Day. Spot it. <gasps> I'm gonna shit. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna shit Nima Marcus. You know what? I'm also gonna shit after I saw the price tag. I knew that they were gonna be expensive, but I did not know they were gonna be that expensive. Holy crap, this better be worth it. It was also like quite the experience because I didn't realize there's different sizes. Like I've watched so many reviews of this thing and not one person has said you have to get it completely sized for your head with different sized bands. And one of them were kind of like, you can't just get one size fits all. I was like, oh, okay. It was quite the process to get, but I guess that's because it's such an experience. Literally, you did buy something? I got you a Valentine's present. Um, you already got me a Valentine's Day present, the Disney waffle maker. Oh. Look, here's another one. You're kidding me, right? Well, it's kind of a present for you and kind of a present for me. I was literally kidding when I said, don't forget to get me a present. <laughs> Where were you hiding that? I literally had it in my hands. I didn't see it. I guess I was so just taken aback by... Why would you get me something else, Shane? Well, it's... Oh my god! Cute. A little Ralph Lauren onesie or two! Not perfectly that. match me. Like, they match, but not, no, like, this is what I'm saying. I don't know that I love, like, the identical matching. So these go together and perfectly complement each other, okay. but they're not. I already know which match. one's for who. Which one do you think? Okay, let me think. Jet Max. No. Jet Max. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are so cute. So that's really cute, but I knew that you would secretly be a little bit disappointed because they're not technically a present for you. It's kind of a present for everyone. So I got you another present. Oh my gosh, girl. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is beautiful. This is turning into the best day ever for me. <laughs> Apple Vision Pro, gifts for my kids, gifts for me. Yeah, wait, should, me. I, should I return this? <laughs> it's just something cute. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's like a, a puffer wallet. And it's still the low profile, which I love these low profile ones because they just fit in my pocket. <gasps> Bitch. With my black puffer jacket. Now I can switch out depending on my mood. Like I have the cheetah for when I'm feeling sassy and the puffer coat. Wow. It's even like a little bit padded. Dang, I gotta transfer this right now. Okay, so what's the plan? We have to go try out this Vision Pro. We gotta get back to our babies because I missed them already. I guess while we're just sitting here and stationary already, we should hit one of the other big questions. When are you moving back to Colorado and what's happening with the alpacas? And then just more people saying, when are you going to the other house? Do you want to take this away or should I? I'll let you transfer. So we're kind of in a weird stage with that because we have realized very quickly that living in two places with babies doesn't work. <laughs> Like having the nursery set up with all the products and everything that it takes to take care of a baby daily. I can't even imagine how we would get all of our animals ourselves and two babies there. We haven't fully figured it out because we're in the thick of babies. We know we're not going to sell that house. Oh my gosh. Mom. <gasps> we miss the alpacas so, so much. much. We are kind of in the middle of like figuring out should we bring them to LA or is that not as good of a life? Because in Colorado they have so much land. So we have no idea what we're doing. Very up in the air about everything. We're trying not to stress about it and freak out about it. But yes, we currently don't know. In an ideal world, we would go back to Colorado for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and spend the holidays there. But we're just gonna have to see where we're at when the kids are around that age. Somebody is actually staying at our house that takes care of the alpacas every day. She sent the cutest photo to me yesterday that I will insert here. It just melts my heart. And the alpacas are very friendly with her. She had helped us with them before we even moved. And I get like updates all the time and they're doing really, really good. They're taking care of every single day. But right now the answer is we just actually have no idea. Getting out of the house to go to the Apple store. That was a struggle in itself and we don't even have the babies with us. I can't imagine getting on a plane with two babies, five animals. Diaper bags, everything you need and then we get to the house and we would need everything and I do not have a nursery there yet. Side note, this is a stupid problem, right? But there's a lot of stairs in Colorado to the nursery and I'm nervous to take the babies up any stairs because I'm like, if I trip or if he trips, <laughs> it's a problem. So I like everything on one level. So there's a lot of questions, but yes, we didn't answer any. We don't. <laughs> All right, we wanted to try some sort of treat and Shane follows this snack account and he always will send me like a uh, new fun menu items of everywhere. Fruit Loops is coming out with like an icy flavor and I know 7-Eleven does 
Slurpees, not Icy's. But then I started thinking, the last time I had a Slurpee was probably five years ago. And then I started thinking, oh, if they have a sugar-free Slurpee, I might actually enjoy that as a little treat. First of all, that's weird because you hate sugar-free stuff. So you're being a hypocrite, but I guess so am I. So here we go. I love sugar-free Slurpees. I've had one forever. I had an addiction to them in like 2010 where I was drinking like three big gulp sugar-free Slurpees a day and I wasn't eating. Yeah, so I'm really excited. I haven't been in a 7-Eleven in way too long. I want to see what new treats they have. This is what parents turn into. You get out of the house for a moment, somebody's watching the kids and you're like, anywhere's fun. Not that our kids aren't fun, it is the best. Anyway, let's go see what Slurpee flavors they have. <laughs> Gosh, you forget all the great gas station foods that are here. These are like Doritos version of Takis. Although I feel like I'm cheating on Takis. And are these their versions of pop fries? Okay, I have never seen this in my life. Are you joking? Well, see, how do we keep our relationship spicy <laughs> with those? Caramel inside of a Reese's. I have never seen that in my life. So gushers like this now, just like out and about? Oh no. This is a bad idea to come to a gas station. I just found something so fun. Slurpee slap bracelets and they're like mystery. I've never opened up like a mystery thing before. <laughs> okay, in a horrible turn of events, I don't think they have a sugar-free Slurpee, not even a Diet Coke. Ooh, what is that though? Mountain Dew pitch black. We gotta try that. Okay, dragon fruit is naturally flavored with zero sugar. That's where I'm going. We gotta get out of here. This bell is driving me crazy. I bet you'll like it because it's like water talk that's... I mean, I do like it. It tastes like I'm gonna get a lot of farts. <laughs> it's airy and it does taste like artificial, but... It's fine. Okay, we're gonna try everything at home. But I just had to open up my mystery slap bracelet. And if you have to do that, then I just have to try these. <gasps> they look just like hot fries. Oh, those are gonna be loud. Ah! The flavor's really good, but what I love about hot fries more than hot Cheetos is how like soft <gasps> the crunch is. Okay. It's like this nice, satisfying soft crunch. These are really dense and like hard. Ready? Ooh, I'm nervous. I really wanted the green Slurpee with the green. That's the one I wanted. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <gasps> oh. It's so cute. <laughs> this is not the one I wanted. But you know what? Uh, matches my outfit. Hold on. Ow! Really? Ow! Really? It. Ow! That hurt Ow. me like a stubbed toe. Ow! 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 Mm. This look is pretty good. Okay. It didn't even slap on right for the amount of pain that you got. It really didn't. It is so cute though. What time is it, bitch? Ugh. <laughs> this is bad. This sucks. Mm -hmm. But it's cute though. It kind of matches my... What a waste of money. Okay. How much this was is... that? I don't remember. You paid for it. Thank you. This is a lesson. Mystery items are not worth it. Unless it's on Shane Dawson merch. <laughs> <laughs> Those oh, no. ones are worth it. This... I don't know about. Uh, am I going to hit this car? No. Okay. All right. We'll see you at home. Okay. We're back and we're about to unbox our Apple Vision Pro. But first, we have to get into this carameled Reese's that I just cannot get over. I can't imagine something better than this. <gasps> oh my God. They're thick. Two thickies just for us. Mm. Oh my God. I love the smell of a milk Wait. chocolate Reese's. I mean, the grand Oh, the caramel's at the bottom. Oh, oh. the caramel's at the oh very bottom. Oh my god! Oh yeah. Mm. Why had they never thought about this before? Am I just crazy and I've never seen this before, or is this brand new? Are we doing a taste test right next to a diaper genie? <laughs> That stinks like poop. That's our yes, life. We are. Okay, that was fun, but can we get this pro on my head? Mm -hmm. Isn't it crazy that I'm just as excited about this though? Mm. I'm just gonna say it, like we bought it and I'm so excited to try it, but I just feel like this is gonna be one of those Apple products that in two years people are gonna be like, yeah, that was a mistake. Or everybody's gonna be living in them and nobody's gonna be on planet earth. We're all gonna be in a virtual reality. Which do you think will be the re reality? I stopped listening because the chewing, I'm like trying okay, to- Okay, go get, go okay. get you. I feel like this is a nice place to unbox it. Oh. I'm gonna unbox it over here. Mm. Oh, you're not supposed to. She what? showed me the proper way to hold it. So she said, when you're holding the Apple Pro, you take it by four fingers below 
one finger up top. Did they not give us the wood stand? I thought there was like the wood stand involved. Whatever, okay, and that doesn't matter. Back to you. This is battery? It's a charger. That uh, battery life is two hours, but you can also wear it plugged in. Uh, uh, I don't like unboxing. Why do people enjoy unboxing? I just want this shit open. <laughs> Okay. And then you use this knob right there to tighten it to your head. She said you can see a little light down there. Yeah. But you're not supposed to see tons. It's happening. Something's happening. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my Press god. and hold to align. Okay, it's happening. Whoa, this is weird. Press digital crown to begin. Yeah. Bring iPhone or iPad in your... Okay, got it. Whoa. You bounce the system by looking. Whoa. And it responds to your eyes. Whoa. Simply look at an element. This is weird. <laughs> Look at your hands to set up. <laughs> this is the end of the world as we know it. Oh my God. Now select all the dots around the circle. Yeah, it's the end of the world, baby. This is scary. Oh my God, we're all gonna die. This is crazy. Okay, I will say you are a little fuzzy. I think you can control that too, like how much you can see me. I can't hear you anymore. Take your time getting ready and make sure nothing's covering your face. Oh, I'm about to make my persona. Oh when you're ready, hold Apple Vision Pro at eye level. <laughs> Align your entire face within the frame. <gasps> you can see me. Oh my gosh. Now, slowly turn your head to the left. If it gives me a double chin, tilt your head up. It's only going to show your eyes. I think. Then tilt mm -hmm. your head down. No, it does your whole body. Your body. Next, let's capture your facial expressions. Smile with your mouth closed. <laughs> okay, after a few prompts, he's going back in. It's creating my persona. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god, I'm this scared. is like the truth. Like, this is what I look like. This is scary. I saw a lot of people like showing it's not as pronounced. Oh my God. There it is, there you are. Where? You just woke up. I did? It's still really, it's slight. Like, Ew, that's what I look like? Ew. The opacity is like so see-through. It looks accurate. I just wish I could see you clearer. I can see like the lights more than I can see you. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I think I can figure out my screen recording. I think it's recording. <gasps> You can see what you can see? Bitch, we're in. Okay, this is crazy. Ooh, I'm scared. What do I do? I don't know. Give us a tour. I mean, I can't see what you can see, but you all can see because it's screen recording. Okay, photos. Is this my photos? Is it from your iPhone? Hope there's none. Ew! I don't know. I'm at a backyard barbecue. I don't know who these people are. Go away. How do I get out? <laughs> How do I get out? <laughs> oh, exit. There we go. Ooh, that was scary. YouTube.com. Ryland Vlogs. <gasps> This is crazy. Make a big screen. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, hold on. Welcome to a day in our life as parents. Okay. Can you make it full screen? They know. <laughs> we are not like other moms. Trust me. <gasps> Whoa. This is everything. How do I turn it up? I think oh. you spin the dial. Oh shoot. Bitch, you are huge! Oh, hello. This girl. is crazy. Can you like open your text messages too while you're watching my YouTube video? Let me move you over here. Girl, you're over there! That is crazy. Be right back. Okay. The other thing I'm most excited to see is obviously how it is to edit videos like this YouTube video you're watching. Environments. Oh, let's try environments. You can <gasps> press this too to like bring up all of the different things. <gasps> what? I'm somewhere. Oh my God, I'm in the mountains. Okay, I'm gonna let him play for a little bit and then after he decides the things he likes most, Whoa! he can tell us about. Oh my God, wait, I'm gonna watch your video in the mountains. <gasps> whoa, whoa. Okay, obviously it's impressive, but will he put it on to watch instead of just putting a video on the TV? That's what I wanna know, like long-term, is it that practical? And then obviously I need him to go sit next to his computer and see what the workspace play, is like. Play. Boys, it was so special <gasps> and incredible. So here's that now. Teresa's <laughs> meeting the grandkids. This is crazy. <laughs> I wonder also, like if you were on a plane, the person next to you could hear this. <laughs> you know, I can hear it fully. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, you can probably connect your AirPods. Right. Okay, here's what I will say. It's still very obvious that I'm wearing something. Like, I'm not like, wow, I'm in the mountains because I can still see like the black around everything. Well, maybe it needs to be fitted to you better then. All right, let me stop the screen recording really fast. 
And then how are you gonna get that to us? Will it go to your iPhone? View screen recording saved photos. Oh, save it to photos. Airdrop it to me. Oh my God, I can't. No, if you can just air- Here we go. Bitch. Here we go. Oh my God. It's fucking happening. Oh my God. This is wild. Come here, girl. Oh my God. No, come back. Come back. This is pathetic. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Can you go sit next to your computer and see if this is practical for work? Something's coming. Honey, watch out. Honey farted. Okay, something's happening. Wow. Come here, come to mama. <gasps> come here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> oh my God. No, bitch, no, oh my God. What? Whoa. Now look at him, he's up and moving. It's interactive. Should I finish the Q&A without him because he has no interest in us anymore? So something people were asking was favorite life hacks since having the twins. And I will say the ones that I've seen on Instagram that actually work for me is when you have like the button up outfits, wrapping them up over their arms while you're changing a diaper is actually game changing because then it like acts as a swaddle for their arms. And oddly, at least calms my boys down because sometimes a diaper change isn't their favorite thing to do. And then because I have boys and they'll pee in your face, quite literally, I saw somebody else saying to rub a wipe on their stomach before you open the diaper. And it encourages like, if they're gonna pee, to make them pee then. And that actually has proven to work for my kids. And then I saw somebody asking favorite product, like must have product. And for us, it is the twinsy pillow. It's like that dual pillow. If there's only one of us in the room, plopping them on that and feeding them on that thing is a must after they eat and after they burp to like sit more in an upright position while they digest so that they don't spit up. It's a must to just hang out in and look at us while I'm preparing their bottles. It's literally, the most used product that we have. And I think right behind that is like the baby Bjorn self bouncers. They like that as a holding place if I need to like tidy up the room, but they're awake, they'll tolerate that for a second. And then because this video is getting so long, you know what? I'm gonna... Now he's in the movie theater mode. Because this vlog's getting so long, I'm gonna have to answer the rest of the questions next time. Or maybe Shane will come on the podcast and we'll do like a dad episode of the podcast. I'm gonna show you how this Apple Pro integrates into a desktop or a laptop. And after that, it is sayonara because this vlog is getting too long. So Shane's at his laptop. Let's see how easy it is to just connect. Is it giving you an opportunity? <gasps> The screen went black. <gasps> Whoa. Turn on Final Cut Pro. All I wanna know <laughs> is if I can edit on it because for me, it's not really worth it if I can't. Oh my God. What? This is insane. The videos I watched, you can have like your text messages up. I could have my <gasps> windows for downloading music and files, and then my actual project file up. I literally, yeah, I can edit like this. Can you see, can see the like, keys? Yeah. Is it practical okay. though? Okay, here's my, issues right now, but I don't know if these are something I can fix. Can you take your headset off while you talk to us? Can you live in our world for one second? <gasps> oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What, oh no, are you gonna get vertigo from it? Uh-oh. Oh no, do you need to go back in? I have really bad vertigo emotion sickness and um, oh no. <laughs> okay, well that's not good. He also said a million times, it's definitely really heavy. I need to lay down. Ooh, oh, I can't use it. Can oh, you return it? I hope so because it was expensive. Okay, let me just say this. Okay, mama's gonna pass out. Let me just say this, pros. That was really cool. That was really fun. I probably could have just went into the store and did the demo and saved four grand. <laughs> <laughs> Although if I would have done that in the store, I don't know how I would have got to the car. I'm really dizzy. It shows you the real world, but it's like you're looking at the real world through a Blackberry, like a really old <laughs> Blackberry. Like it's very like fuzzy, <gasps> like the qualities, which I have to say, I've been watching a lot of reviews. Nobody's saying that. You can kind of see it in people's reviews. It's definitely fuzzy. It doesn't look like the real world. It looks like 
like a 10, 780p, 720p. I should have asked for about the return policy. What there if we're stuck be, with this? There might be a setting though. Like you might be able to fix that. Maybe it's on a low setting for battery. Editing was really cool. Like if I didn't get motion sick, I definitely would do that because that was fun. But yeah, the, the screen quality is not amazing, but maybe it's a setting. So hold my review. My thing is the bulkiness. You don't forget you're wearing it. You're like, oh, I have a very heavy thing on my head. <laughs> like that the whole time. So I can't imagine like watching a movie with a heavy thing on my head. If it was like lightweight and you forgot it was there, but this is like, also, at the price point, it's just a lot. But right now it's the kid's bath time, so I gotta go. And it's gonna create intense under eyes. It was like dragging my eyes down. Tim Cook, don't cook me. Let me cook. I mean, he Oh my God, imagine at the next, like, <laughs> what's it called? The, the Where he's on stage and he's like, let me cook. <laughs> I hope we can return this and I'm gonna play with it later tonight. I hope you guys liked this vlog. Anything else you have to say, Shane? Nope, he's done too. Good night. I'm gonna puke. Bye. I hate this thing. <laughs>